What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and welcome back to another episode of the Beetlestone Society server. So, a uh, quick overview of what went on uh, between episodes by other people on the server. Um, the spawn town looks a little bit, uh, a little bit cooler because people are starting to build some cooler things. Orangey, I believe the orangey probably made this spruce this uh, path up a little bit. Quite literally spruce. Spruce wood. Um, some leaves, it looks really nice the lamp but really the nice thing he did is his old little potion shop that we thought was really cool last episode got even cooler look how awesome orangey made his potion shop uh he did a really good job on the uh, potion there it looks really cool it's like hanging on a crane like the stopper is uh connected to the building it's like this four stories tall i don't know maybe a little uh cocoa bean farm right there but um yeah he's selling the potion now i think it's open pretty big place this thing is huge Got a garden back here with like giant mushrooms, podzol. So we'll definitely be using this when we have potions. So thank you, Orangey, for making a nice uh that's Orangey by the way right there. He's Agni. So very cool. You can walk over you can even walk across the um crane there. I think I went too high though. Yeah, a lot of people are on the server right now. Five people. Yep, so you can walk across like this. It's really cool. Let's do a leap of faith. Eh, lag there. Cowabunga! Okay. So, now let's look at some other stuff people did and what I did. Um, over there, that, that used to be uh, the superb Simone's little dirt house. Now, it looks much cooler. It doesn't look like, it looks like he's building something big, but it's not done yet. Things always look cool when it's quartz and nether brick. Nice contrast there. Looks kind of cool already. Um, what else has gone on? If you look to my right, it is uh, mm -hmm. Spiffy Drew's bookstore he made. Looks pretty cool with the light blue stained glass. I think he made it really nice. He even got a zombie in here. ATM, I like that idea right there. Is you can like get your stuff to pay. Me um, selling enchanted books. I'll probably come here for uh, when I need some OP gear. And so now we have those two shops, very important shops, books and enchanted books and uh, potions on spawn plateau, and that's really nice. We see some other people's houses come together. That's cool also. And now uh, remember I had my little like shack last time, so I made a little path here. Um, cost it a Nerf mailbox. Made the roof a little better. Uh, now can, I can enchant. I just, um, I made that. I enchanted my pickaxe. And I got a very good work pick. So, it's fine for my first pick. I'll take that. And I made an ender chest so I can get my valuables in there. Nobody can take them. A lot of diamonds because people like orangey and Superb Simone are really nice at letting me borrow their Fortune 3 picks. Uh, let me put some stuff here. Uh, I guess I can put all my stuff here. Brewing sand, a lot of wood because I have a future project. I'm going to make the spruce wood. I'm not going to give that away just yet. Uh, I'm not sure if the painting was there last time. I got most of my ores that I have in that, in that ender chest from a branch mine down there. I have a little sugarcane farm out there because I need paper to make 30 book uh, 15 bookshelves to make this level 30 and that's a about what I did but for today's episode why don't I tell you what we're gonna do we are going to make a shop at spawn plateau I know very exciting uh, let me make some more food for myself so we have the bookstore by spiffy drew which sells enchanted books very important um, we have we have Orangey's Potion Shop, and I am going to have a, a, sh a shop on Spawn Pot, so it's not going to be quite as important to the game. I don't think people. I don't think I'll be getting that much business compared to them too, but it's going to be a fun little shop I'm going to make, and I'm going to make a record shop, a little music store, and I'm actually going to tear down my house and putting it putting it right here. I mean, this little this little cozy cottage is not really anything special. I'm going to tear it down. 
and I'll I think anyway, sh uh, spawn pots there should be more shops than houses because I, we want to be a nice bustling town that people are going to come together and communicate with, and people's bases should be where they live. But these all these starter homes in spawn are okay. But I, I'll tear mine down, put a music shop here. I have a little idea what it's going to look like. I'm going to use obsidian uh, and a lot of a lot of what's it called? A lot of wool. So. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna breed those sheep, and I'm gonna take some. I got some. So I obviously it's not gonna be open just yet because I need to stock my inventory of music discs. The past few nights I went out and got some music discs. Two chirps, but it's really slow getting music discs. So I I made a little contraption, not my own design, but uh, people made that where you just like lure the creeper and skeleton into like a piston trap and then they shoot each other. So I made that for future nights, so I'll be able to fill my, fill my uh, inventory of music discs faster so I can start selling them. Um, and now, what do I need? I need, I need some dye to paint those sheep. I'll take some ink sacks, I need some lapis, uh, I need some bone meal. What else do I need? Um, oh, I need red, I need a red, uh, red dye, and I have one poppy. I think about one pop will be enough. So rose red, and then I'll just get two purple. I'm going to use purple, and I'm going to use dark gray and black. Uh, so I'll use one of these, or I'm going to make some bone meal. I might have some bone meal in a chest. That makes gray dye good. So, and then I'll have an ink sack. I'm gonna make one sheet black. Okay. So let's go ahead and breed these guys. Yes, yeah, so I went to the nether and got a blaze rod because I need to make that broom sand stuff. All right, so I'm gonna actually gonna do this first. So I think most of them are gonna be black. Definitely make you black. And now I'm going to, I guess I'll make you gray, you gray, and you purple. I really wish I had more black, because the black is going to be the most, the, like it's going to have the most black of all the colors. Maybe I shouldn't have dyed all of these, because people might need white, whatever. I think this can be a new farm. Uh, so let's go. Let's go with the black, with the gray with her little needle leaf stuff. Come on, make a black baby. It's not kind of wrong. I didn't get a black baby. Uh, yeah. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Make sure I got a purple baby. And I will. Oh, I need shears, don't I? Probably take that weed out of my hand before I do that. Can you shear baby sheep? I'm not sure. I don't think you can. Uh, right, two of that. I could always get the shears I donated to the Church of Nosh in the first episode. Okay. And it's going about to be daybreak. And I think I'm going to go down to get some obsidian for the shop. And then when it becomes nighttime again, I'm gonna go out and show you guys how I'm gonna get the music disc to fill the shop. So these guys do when they eat, they go back to the color they had, so it's okay. And yeah, you can't you can't do the babies. Yep, I'm gonna need uh, about probably a few stacks of black and like half a stack of the other two colors. Or maybe a full stack of purple. And let's go. So, I'm going to go to get obsidian, and I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up, everybody? It is Nerp here, and as you can see, I tore down the house. Um, I've been also shearing the sheep, and I put the, I'll put a bunch of chests down there with that are holding all my stuff that was here. And it sucks uh, to get the Eye of Ender back from that. You need to have a silk touch, which I don't have, so... And I also want to have a, a 
and your chest in the um, in the shop for like an ATM, like Sir Fisher kind of his idea was for his bookstore that we saw earlier in the video. So I'll have to kill a couple enemies. Hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. Um, if you saw my levels going, I did die. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm gonna go down, and I, I actually, I died because I was trying to use a disc, and Creeper blew up, and killed me. Actually no, well, Creeper blew up, like it blasted me like into a skeleton, and skeleton shot me. Um, I think we should go for this Enderman first, because we really would like to get an Ender Pearl. First should I kill the zombie? See, that's some lag right there. Alright. Hopefully I don't die. Okay, Enderman. Come at me, bro. Really gonna... Oh, you're not gonna come at me? That's annoying. Well, oh, there he is. Oh, I thought he was one, one more hit and I think he would've died. Come on, you gotta come back now. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Please come back. Ah, I think one more hit would have killed him. This block's annoying. I hope nobody wanted that block to stay there. Damn it, I think we lost the Enderman. I don't hear the sound anymore, probably teleported. Back to the end, or wherever you call it. Two creepers there, but okay. The reason I have these in my inventory is because. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. He died from getting in the water. And I have to kill this creeper. Actually, it's fine if he blows up. He's in the water. It doesn't matter. I don't think he dropped the pearl, though. He died. But no pearl. Alright, no pearl. Yeah. Oh well. So, I'll just show you how I'm gonna get the music disc now. <laughs> oh, what's this over here? I don't even know whose this is. Somebody's building a. Oh no, this is Orangey's, right? Yeah, it's just the back of Orangey's place. Never mind. False alarm. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these like piston things. When a mob will walk on a pressure plate there, it's just gonna, yeah, see, exactly in action right there. It's gonna push up and trap him, so I get a skeleton in one, creeper in the other, and stand behind the creeper so the skeleton shoots him. But the hard part is getting those guys in there. Oh. Went in my inventory at the wrong time. Problem is, there's too many zombies to really do this. And skeletons, skeletons plus zombies equals not fun time. Uh, let me get some dirt to fill this in so I have an easier time pushing these guys in. Just trying not to be hit here. God damn it. See, these guys are just hitting me and there's not really much I can do that because of the lag. I have enchanted armor, but it's one level on each. Alright, good. He hit he a zombie, so that means the zombie's gonna get aggroed on him, I think. Or not. Okay, come on. Of course, the zombies are. The zombies are the only thing stupid enough to get on that. Um, I only have two arrows, or one arrow. Okay, this is not gonna work. But I think you kind of get the idea. I'm gonna go out another time, or when I have like a diamond sword or something, so I can better ward off these zombies. Right now, if they're like five hits to kill them with an iron sword, it's gonna be way too hard for me to, uh, get some just tonight so I think I'll make the shop but I'll probably stock it up off camera but I do to finish just making this off I am gonna need an ender pearl for for you know I wish they didn't knock him back there we go want to kind of heal up before I tackle this 
Oh god, I'm gonna die. Damn it, the enemy killed me. Let's go get our stuff. There's too many mobs out. It's not the creepers that are a problem, it's not the endermen that are a problem, it's all the skeletons with their knockback bows that just, even when there's not knockback on it, they just knock you back like three blocks, and then the billion zombies, if you, if you try to kill the zombies, they'll spawn more, and that one just spawned in a light level that looked like it was bright enough. Okay, well it's becoming daytime, but I really wanted to get an ender pearl tonight. Darn. Um, let me find where I died. I kind of lost stuff. I better get my stuff back. Come on, witches, don't throw anything at me. There's also, there's also a bit of lag around here, so it's kind of hard for me to fight all the zombies. Uh, which, alright, we died. Alright, come on. Start burning. And we already. Ow. Come on, really? I'm gonna die. As soon as the skeleton shoots me, I'm gonna die. Now, where did I die? Here, here we go. Okay, let's try to collect everything. Fast, or let me just make my inventory and then I'll eat. I'm missing my helmet, I'll get that in a sec if I find it. Missing my wood too. Um, here I'll just eat and look. It's definitely around here. Maybe a zombie picked it up, but then I have to find where that zombie died. Oh, it's Skelly. Better not go too close to him. Um, well that was a pain in the butt. Do I have the wool? Black wool, I don't have my black wool. Um, I need my, I have a shovel. Okay, I'm missing, I'm missing black wool. Black wool and wood and a helmet. Or my helmet probably broke actually. Come to think of it. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'm not I'm not I don't wanna engage this guy in the water. I really need a bow to kill skeletons. They're pretty darn strong. Okay, I have a feeling my black wool was picked up. Or my wood. The zombie just picked up a stack of my wood. Walked away with it. You're carrying wood now, you have dirt. Oh well. Oh, wait, wait here. There we go. Exactly the two things I didn't have. Perfect. And now, I think you get the idea how that thing works, but I think I'll have to make it more protected a little bit to better make sure I can get the correct mobs in them. <laughs> Might be faster just to get them if these just a normal way which I have been doing. But we'll see. Hopefully by next video I'll have like a a uh, full inventory of music discs of stock and my shop will be opened. But in fact I'm gonna start making the shop now. I might not have enough materials to finish it in this uh I think I'll finish it in this video but I might have to cut off camera if I don't have enough materials and finish it in the materials. I probably need more black wool, but I should have enough of everything else. Well, I'm definitely gonna need more black wool. Twenty thousand gonna cut it. Most of most of the place is gonna be made out of black wool. I have an idea of what what it's gonna look like. A little music shop. I hope it's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and breed these dudes.
everybody breed, everybody breed. We won't have any of those dying mishaps once we have like enchanted diamond armor and a diamond sword. But we're pretty weak right now, so that's why. Okay, good, now let's get our shears out. I wish it more of these for black. I should probably turn more black because we're gonna need a majority of black wool. The next, the next uh, time I shear, I'll probably get more black out. Like 30 black. It's not gonna be enough. I'll probably need like two or three or maybe even four stacks of black wool. Okay. But doesn't mean we can't get started. I'm gonna break this now. I'm gonna get the obsidian back. But sadly, I'm not going to get the high vendor back, so I'm going to need to get an ender pearl very soon. Oh, I need a. Oops. Yep, I see I didn't get the eye back, and I, my stuff is in the cloud. <laughs> I'll have to get an eye vendor. Okay, so now let's make this thing as. Best. I think I'll do the front door first. Um, here, you know what, this is where, kind of, I'm going to be, like, living for now. Let's go ahead and make, a, like, a way out. Okay. So, that's the way into, into there. Go ahead and put a piece of dirt there. Okay, I also need some glowstone for this build. I'll get that off camera, so obviously not, I'm not going to have enough black wool for this. Uh, let's kick out a crafting table. Okay. So, let's begin. Uh, so, I'll give away what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to, the fr it's going to be kind of like a, ha like a hemisphere of a music disc, like half a music disc. It's going to be like that, kind of like a rainbow shape. It's going to be kind of long, and that's going to be the little shop. It's going to be kind of small. Obviously not going to have as many customers as the Enchanted Bookstore or the Potion Shop, because music discs are not as useful to me as those two items. I'm also going to sell some other things that have to do with music. But it's more of a fun shop, and I think shops are good for a server because it makes things more lively. I'm, I'm hoping I change this path also. Took down a mailbox too. So, uh, I'm going to make two doors. I think I have doors down there, but whatever. Um, oops, wrong side. I'm gonna put it. No, actually, yeah, actually no. Yeah, no. I'm gonna put the doors so they open kind of weird. So you're, they're gonna open like inwards into the store, but not against a wall. Okay. Here I go. Uh, actually, no, these. Those can be like that. Um, get some cobblestone, put it there. Okay. Now, I'm going to need the purple. Let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to make this like a little music disc, like a. as the front entrance. I think purple stands out, so I'm using purple. Good. Now, let's see. H how wide is this going to be? It's going to be 12 wide. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. And six times two is 12, so we'll go two there. Let's see how well I can do this. So it's going to go two up, two over. And one, two, three, four there. Um, yeah, I think that makes a circle shape. Ta-da! Okay, now, uh, I want some shading going on with the gray wool. So why don't we go like that? Yeah. Um, maybe there and like the creases kind of. 
And let's try filling the rest in with uh, black wool. Yeah, see, we're already out of black wool. Um, maybe that should be gray wool up there. I don't know. I'm going to go shear all the sheep right now. No, let's make some more. We're barely going to need any gray wool, so let's... Let's make some of uh, actually if we're not gonna need many of the we don't, we don't have any girl. Let's take away some of these some of these uh these guys and make them. Okay, at least these guys eat up and eat the grass for more wool very fast. So maybe let's get wool. This is a community farm, so I am going to make some of them white again afterwards because it's kinda unfair. <laughs> There's no white sheep in here. Um, we got people playing. Uh, let's get the wheat and let's make these guys have some fun. Hopefully, I have more black babies. I want black babies. Sounds kind of weird. I, mean to me, I, I did not mean that in a weird way. Just more black, more black wool baby sheep. Um, might as well just show this guy while I can. Okay, let's get out of here. I'll share more stuff it's after I do a bit more of this. And now, where is our black wool? Yeah, so the ground inside is going to be made of obsidian, I think. I like the purplish tint to that. Let's see. Now, how does that look? Like, does that look like a music disc from afar? I think it actually does. I kind of like that. Yeah, I do like that. I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. And I am going to need more black wool, of course. Alright, very nice, very nice. And now, I need to sketch out what the, this, this is going to look like. I'm going to have some glowstone. But for now, it's going to be dirt. These, I'm going to put carpets down over over some glowstone. So let's see. I'm just mapping this out, what it's going to look like for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I'll, I'll see how 12 is 12 is enough for us um, and now yeah so it's kind of that's where it's like the shops maybe is gonna end okay let's go ahead and make a oh yeah I made too much purple well I don't need that much purple yeah I made way too much purple so like, you can imagine there's gonna be glowstone underneath. If you don't know, if you don't know glowstone or um, jack o' lanterns, the light goes through these uh, carpets. So that's really nice. And this actually goes right over my little home thing. So I guess I'll go like that. I think this is gonna look kind of cool when it's when all said and done. Okay. So that's gonna be lighting inside, just so I don't have to show any lighting. That should be enough lighting for inside. Um, and now I need more wool, or may as well just put the obsidian down. Okay. So actually these blocks are going to be obsidian. I think actually the door should, yeah, I think I want the doors to be pushed in a little bit. So put those there. And now it's the doors like this yeah I like that and then I'll have purple wool here not too shabby 
Yeah, now it looks like you're walking into a music disc. That's what I meant, like it's gonna look weird how you open the door like kind of into nothing. Okay, so now I have an obsidian floor. Okay, if I take this down, if I don't like it, it's gonna be hard to take this stuff up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, sorry, it's five. It's definitely gonna go at least six, seven, it's definitely gonna go eight out. So I'll put those down. Getting this stack of obsidian was actually pretty fast with the efficiency four pick. Um, and now we'll go three this way. I have no iron to make another iron shovel. I'll just make a stone shovel. That's in my ender chest, but I don't have an ender chest now. I really have to kill an enderman. Uh, let's make it go out to the same place. So there's gonna be juice boxes in here, a ton of stuff. It's gonna be a pretty cool looking shop. I hope. Hopefully I weave an obsidian. Yeah we do. I was actually thinking of putting ender chests underneath the carpets as well as glowstone so you can get that like effect of the like uh, particles coming up. I might eventually do that because it looked really cool when I tried it in creative. But obviously I don't have the materials for that right now. Um, I could actually cover that up because I already did the whole branch vine, so I'll never be going down there again. Hopefully, no one. Oh, perfect! Just enough. Well, actually, I have some more obsidian, but we're gonna need that. Okay. So we might go. We're gonna go deeper probably with the obsidian actually, but we have more obsidian. Oh, actually, I'm gonna mine up some of these spaces because they're gonna be blocks on some of them. Okay, I'm gonna go and shear them now. See how much more we get. Now there's 12 music discs. 12. Yes, okay, we're getting these black sheep. Okay, let's, let's make some more black ones. Yeah, we really need black. Okay, um, so there's 12 music discs, so I think I'll have, like, a six, six on each side, and then I'll also sell note blocks, because they're, like, music juke boxes, and, um, I think I want an odd number, because I want to have, like, a little spot where you can name your, name your song, like, you can name it in the anvil, so I want an odd number of the things you could buy, so then I'll just sell, uh, I think I'll just sell, uh, bookshelves and call them CD racks. These kind of look like that, so <laughs> that'd be kind of cheesy, but whatever. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and build this. So let's see, how far out do I want to go? Let's say uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then let's say here we have, oh wait, yeah, and here we have like an ATM and here we have something else okay so then one two three four five six those are the six music things and then we can have then we can have the jukeboxes note block and then the other side um, CD rack and name your and name your thing but we also want to have one extra for like a spot in front so let's mark this off so we want it to go past this so then we can have All right, so this is where the counter is going to start right here yeah okay the counter is going to start there so that means Alright, first I'm going to start taking out some of this obsidian. Okay, I think this is going to look pretty nice. We don't need obsidian or any things that aren't obsidian. Alright. Sorry, I'm taking time to do this. Actually, I'll do that more off camera. Um, I think I have more obsidian down below. I want to keep at least eight left over. Do I see an Enderman easily accessible? 
No, not really. I'll have to get kill one of those Endermen when I can. Uh, how do I get into where I was storing myself? Oh, it's right over here. Okay, um, obsidian, obsidian here. I actually had a lot of obsidian. I might be able to, I think I'll have enough obsidian, yeah. Okay. So, it's going to come out. Here, we're gonna definitely have them at, at least at least, at least they're going to be too wide, definitely. So now we have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, space, 1, 2, and then boom. So this is going to be obsidian, and then this is going to be obsidian. Okay. And then... That means that this is going to be mined up. Let's do that for this side as well. We'll also get the walls done, but it's going to be the walls are going to be similar to the front. Yeah, so it doesn't really take that long to mine the obsidian with a pick like this uh, and now because that's annoying okay so now I can use so now the front desk is going to start um, Right, yeah, the front desk is going to start down there, so I can put these here. All this obsidian is so hard to get, but I'm using... Oh, whoops. <laughs> there we go. So that's all the obsidian we're going to need, hopefully. And now... Eat a bit and then we'll shear a bit and hopefully that will be the last shear I'll need no actually chances are I think I need more black I think I have all the purple and gray I'm gonna need but black I'll need black okay Very nice. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's, let's actually do the, the back of the CD in the back. So let's see, so there's the one, two, three, four, five, six music discs. Then there is going to be two items here, and then that's the break, and then this is going to be the front desk. Actually, we're going to need more obsidian for the front desk area. The front desk just needs to be one deeper, right? Yeah, one deeper. Or should we make two deeper just to be safe? Um, yeah. Let's make the back right here. Mm. So the front desk starts there. Back starts here. Back should start here. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Yeah, so shop ends. Front desk is just one block deep. Fine, fine, fine. Um, now let's see. We'll just mirror this. So we're gonna make, move this all the way down here. I'll go like that. Okay. 
Uh, I'll do the other colors after. Two, three, four. And that works, right? Yes, it does. And now it's putting the other, the gray wool, so that's it's gonna be right in that pocket, right in that pocket. Then it's gonna be at that, right? Yeah. And is that all the gray I use? Yes, I believe so. Let's take the black wool, fill the rest out. It's not purple. Um, and then we have, okay, and then we have that part is purple. Is this whole part purple? Or no, we have, yeah, let's go with, and then there's going to be black right here. And there we go. So that is a mirror image of each other, I think. Yes, it is. And I'm going to make myself. Do I have a crafting table back down here? No, I don't. Let's go ahead and. Grab that crafting table, bring it down. Yes, this is going to be a long video. Sorry. Um. get this down here and now I'm gonna want to make myself an axe no what am I doing I don't need an axe I need a shovel okay we're getting the whole design done here kind of okay that's enough that's how you get out there there I go, and now let me go ahead and finish that up to that. Good. And now, can I make sure this hits the bottom? I'll have to terraform this so it looks a little better. is that and now we're gonna we're gonna want so that this is an item and then this is gonna so the items here so then we want the front desk to come out like this and we want that to be there okay so the front desk is going to come out Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna finish out the exterior walls and everything, and I'll be back. All right, so we actually finished the whole exterior now. Um, I can put all this stuff back because I don't need it anymore. Um. Okay. And yeah, so now we're going to do the interior, and first I'm gonna. I need a bunch of bookshelves. Let's get a bunch of that. Let's take our leather. And where are where's our paper? I don't think we have any paper. I mean, where's sugar cane? Is that all our sugar cane? No, we have sugar cane. Okay, we probably don't need all that sugar cane, but whatever. Um, what else do I need? I'm gonna need jukeboxes. Oh, I'm gonna need a. Uh, Oh, I need iron, but I don't have my ender chest. Oh, I'm gonna need item frames. I have the leather with me and wood. 
Uh, what else do I need? What else do I need? Item signs. I have wood with me, and I think I said. So here, you guys can take a look at what it looks like right now. So back, what kind of look? Like, it looks like a just a bunch of music does. I put a a nice like purple ring. I think that makes it look a little kind of nice. That's it. So this is the music shop to rival the uh, bookstore. A lot of time bookstores have music shops in them. <laughs> Might change this path. Maybe it's a purple. So yeah, opens kind of weird. And then this is I put all the obsidian down. I actually didn't have to go to the Nether bees. You could actually put these on top of uh torches. Uh, actually, my little sister told me you could do that. She actually helped a lot of the design of this place too. Okay. So now let's see. This is gonna be the front desk. I'm gonna just get this done first. I'm gonna make it out of bookshelves because I'm gonna make a crafting table up here because uh, I can't make bookshelves until I uh, these bookshelves look like CD racks. Um, so let's see. Make a bunch of paper, and now there, 21 books. And let's actually make some more books. Um, what am I doing? I'm meant to be going like that. Okay, and now there we go. There's 42 books, and now. Go like that, and like that, and like that, and we have 14 bookshelves. And I am a librarian. Okay, so there, there. Those look like CD racks. Yeah, you can line CDs up there. Um, I'm actually going to. I think I want more piece of obsidian, and I'm stuck down here, and that's annoying. Yeah, I want one more piece of obsidian to put right there. So I'm gonna go grab that. I'm also gonna make a fence gate. That's how you're gonna get into the front desk. I might eventually put like a zombie village, a, a villager, or a um, or what's it called? A regular villager or a zombie, you know, to act as a cashier, but for now it's gonna be a little hard to do, so. People will just serve themselves when they come and they'll just pay. I don't even, I don't think I'll get much business, to be honest. Uh. One piece of obsidian. And, oh, we need to get. I actually have to get a. I have to, I actually have to get an ender pearl before I can even access my diamonds and iron because it's all in my ender chest. Oh zombie. I could always just use somebody else. There's an ender chest right in uh, Spiffy's place right there. Spiffy's shop. So I'll probably just use that for right now. Um, there we go. And I'll put the fence gate. Alright, so this is going to be like the front desk area. Very good. And now... Here, let's go ahead and make a chest. So should it be like an ATM and pay here, or should it be like pay here? I think it's gonna be pay here behind the front desk. Yeah. Should I put it like right there? Yeah, I'll put it there. It kind of makes it darker on that side than that side, right? Does it? We do have three. The light level is eight. Seven ooh mobs can spawn there now. I actually have to keep waking mobs spawn over here. Uh, yeah, if mobs can't spawn over here, they can spawn over there. So I actually have to have the torch thing there. Okay, not a problem. Um, so I guess I'm. I think I'll go with a chest here then. Should I go with a double chest there? Yeah, I could always move it when uh. If I get like a villager going back there. Oh, 
Okay. Very good. So now let's set up some signs. Let's make a bunch of signs. Okay. So now it looks great. make an arrow down. I would make like an I, not an I. An L, no, not an L. Uh, oh yeah, okay, so. No. No. Uh. Oh, I see. I can do it like that. Okay, so, let's go like that. I just make that one one lower. No, no, this is hard. Should I do it like multiple times? Yeah, it's good. Pay here. Thank you for your business. Or should I say come again? Yeah, thank you for business, man. Okay, so people are going to leave their diamonds in there, whatever they pay with, whatever uh, I set the price as. And this is pretty nice. I like how this is coming along. So now we'll be able to line up the sides of the walls with uh, what we're selling. Um, and that will be it. But to do that, I need to go grab my diamonds. You know, what, I'll take this time. Quickly run out and see if I can get an Enderman because I really need Ender Pearl before I can do anything. Enderman, Enderman. Hello, Enderman. Be really helpful if I can get one. Hmm. I don't see one. Okay, I'm just gonna use Spiffy's uh. Thing for now. Okay, so I need to get. I'll get a bunch of my diamonds because I'm gonna make at least probably 15 in jukeboxes right now. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have like an ATM thing set up at the door like he does. Uh, let's take a bunch of diamonds. So we're gonna burn through a lot of our diamonds here by making up a lot of jukeboxes, but that's okay because we're making a spawn shop. Um, six there, and then eight, all right, 14. Um, I think we're going to want more than 14, but that'll be it for now. I'm going to put the jukeboxes like this. He's going to be like testing out the music. Very good. And now I'm going to I'm gonna want to get some item frames, so let's go ahead and make a bunch of item frames. And a lot of item frames actually. I'll need more wood. We burn through a lot of wood. We'll need twelve plus four. Four. That's oh, we actually maybe we didn't need any. Maybe we didn't need any. Um, I don't even know. What I'm saying, I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, let's also just grab the rest of our wood from some more wood, not the rest of it. Okay, and why did I keep saying we needed iron? Uh, we need iron because, oh yeah, I'm going to have an anvil. You don't know why I'm having an anvil, it's because, um, it's 
just because I'm gonna have like a little like system where you can name your use disk. Like you can make it like whatever you're into. You could name it like uh like if you're into like Justin Bieber, you could like call it, like one of his songs, and then you have like his record. All right. My sister just heard me say that she left. All right. Um. Oh, because he saw my shop. Did he move the cobble truss? Nah, I just tore down my house. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the item frames, or I have to actually make more item frames. Um, okay, that's enough item frames. So I can put the music disc for what it is in there. Also can have item frame there and there. That's going to be name your thing. So those are both going to be signs. Okay, that's, those are all the item frames I think I'm going to need. And now, oh, we need a lot of chests. I think I'm going to need more wood. Or I might not need more wood. Okay, there we have eight chests. Oh no, we trap chests. And I have to make trip wires for that. Oh, I better move. Oh, I have to make these obsidian, don't I? So you're going to see past the chest. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do. I, I, this video is getting really long, so what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to make this all obsidian. I'm going to start putting in some signs here. I'm going to make a note block, jukebox, CD rack, and name your disk station station and then I'll show you this when uh, I do all that so I'll be back what's up, everybody I finally finished this thing obviously I need to stock if I get any bunch of these discs and I also need levels because I'm gonna rename some uh, some things so it looks a little nicer but I finally kinda finished um, the, the shop itself so let's have some finished touching touches here. Um, sorry, this took so long. So this is it. Obviously, you've seen the outside already. I'm just gonna make a little purple path here. Should it be called Nerps Record Shop or Music Disc Store? Actually, yeah, Record Shop is good. Oh yeah. Looks like a purple carpet. And then I'll put a sign. How about to put it on the front door in Nerbs Record Shop? Or should it be back here? Let's put it back here. Nerps. Record. And there we go. It's Nerp's record shop. Ta da! So now if we go in, it looks from the inside. All the light is coming from the torches underneath these carpets. So I did get an Ender Pearl ATM. Copy that idea from uh, uh, Spiffy. And then here on either side, you can get all the music. Just have them in alphabetical order except 11 I put as the 11th disc so we have 13 cat blocks chirp far maul melody stall strad ward 11 weight um, so as soon as I find the rest of these off first but I'll put the first one I find up top and I'll load the rest of them into the chest below um, is trap chest so that you can put the chest next to each other um, so I think one diamond each is a good price for the music I'll change the price uh, these are all the prices subject to change. I just did two diamonds each for 11 because these look are old and vintage. They're cracked. So we'll go with the two diamonds for them. Um, selling jukeboxes here, two diamonds. Obviously, all you need to make a jukebox is one diamond and eight wood. 
but I want the whole currency of the shots being diamond, so I, I understand nobody's gonna buy a Jewish box from me. I mean, maybe I'll change all the, uh, all the prices. Note block, one diamond each. I couldn't put the, uh, I couldn't put the sign right there. Obviously, these prices, some of them are really overpriced. I couldn't put the sign right there because, um, then you couldn't play it. So all this, a lot of this is interaction, like, you can, you can, like, take out, like, test out chirp. We'll play it. And over here, do a CD rack for one diamond each. I'll load this up. And then, name your own record, free with any purchase of a music disc. So you can name it whatever you want, like I was saying before. And then here's the front desk. And then people can just pay there, pay their diamonds. And uh, this is a nice little place. So what I did was I named actually this CD rack and that jukebox. And I think once I get enough levels, I'm gonna start naming all the things in the item frames so you could easily see what they're called. Like, I'll name like, I'll rename it like cat, rename it that. You actually can't rename something the exact same thing it was. So I just had a space at the beginning and the end so you could rename it and you can see it in the item frame. So that's kind of cool. This flipped upside down so it doesn't look exactly like the note block. So I have to name the note block when I have more levels and all the news this and I'll try to fill up this shop by next episode. And I'll say uh I'll say it's closed for now. Sorry, turn off the music. Um I'll say it's closed for now. But it will open very soon. I'll go put a sign on the door saying opening soon. Um, let me grab sign and whoops and off camera I'll try to find the rest of the music discs and more I will have enough levels probably to probably uh, rename all the music discs so that when you hover over them you have their name and oh, whoops I'm supposed to do this out here I'll go closed opening soon uh, make sure people know it's me how do I do a little like tilde or whatever how do I just go like that nerp Okay, so you can't. Oh, you can get through. Whatever. Okay. So hopefully I don't get robbed of my music discs. And I guess that's the episode. So I got a lot done. I got tore down my house, and now I have the third spawn shop. Hooray! We've got potion shop, gonna get a lot of business. Bookstore, gonna get a lot of business with enchanted books. And then my derpy music shop looks like a record. I actually kind of like it. I like the interior too. This is like one of those retro, like, uh, arcade shops. Or like uh, comic book stores, like the dark floor, the purple. I like it. So that'll be it today. Uh, thanks for watching through this whole video. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this, and like the video if you enjoyed. So I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.